to Travelog. I'm Yan Ling. How have you been? Have you been busy to play too many hats? Or the opposite, too free that you feel like climbing the wall? Either way, it's time for you to take a hike from the city and the China's biggest natural forest park, Zhang Jiajie. That sounds like a good idea, don't you think so? Millions of Chinese tourists dream to come here and posing for pictures against a natural backdrop like this. Understandable, right? Taking the view from the top of mountains here, it doesn't take too much imagination to feel like standing in front of scroll of ancient Chinese landscape painting. In Chinese, nature literally means balanced composition of mountain and water, shan shui. Zhang Jiajie seems to be a picturistic definition of it. Although better known for its unusually shaped mountains and peaks, it's also usually closely associated with untouched forests, clear springs and waterfalls, rare animal and plant species nurtured in a mild subtropical climate. In early 80s, a group of intrepid photographers discovered this place in their trip searching for a new natural wonder. But not until early 90s, when China's famous painter Wu Guanzhong published a poem, Marvelled Zhang Jiajie, that let the secret out. China's indigenous fairy tale of Shangri-La, called Tale of Euphoria, is said to describe the lifestyle in this area. The majority of Zhang Jiajie people belong to two Jia ethnic groups that have been lived in western Hunan province more than a thousand years. Their long tradition and exotic custom adds more color and mysterious appeal to Zhang Jiajie. Located in northwest of Hunan province, known as China's answer to Yellowstone Park, Zhang Jiajie Natural Forest Park, together with Suishi and Gansishan Natural Reserves, collectively also known as Wuling Yuan Sinaric Area, was inscribed to the World Nature and Cultural Heritage List in 1992. Primeval secondary forests, including untouched virgin forests, cover 97.9% of the scenaric area of Lingyuan. Walking under the thick unbroken shade, you understand why our ancestors sense the presence of deity in a forest. More come here for more practical terms. Ecologists marvel the dynamic mix of species. Adventurer travelers are intrigued by the unexploited wildness. Artists and artists-to-be are looking for inspirations in a strange setting. In the middle of a trail, I met this artist student who stayed here for weeks, trying to capture the spirit of Zhang Jiajie from the mountain down to the slightest details. To give you a better picture of its biological diversity, Zhang Jiajie's plant species amount twice as many as that in the whole Europe. Rare plants elsewhere, like ginkgo, lobster flowers, and doe trees, can be easily spotted on the road. Zhang Jiajie is also home to many animals, such as pheasants, pangolins, monkey-faced eagles, macacas. They are all hard to find elsewhere. 
The ecosystem here that still flourishes old grown forest is so unique. It's also rated as biological history museum. You can tell they're so related to human beings. Very smart, very skillful, yeah. and very greedy. One more. Good. <laughs> okay, good. All the others. As long as you have something in your hand, like a peanut, you can make tons of friends. Here we go! There are frequent and direct flights available from Beijing, Shanghai and other major cities to Zhangjiajie Airport, which is located 15-minute car ride away from the city center. The busy tourist season starts in May and its peak throughout the summer and fall. The locals and hardcore travelers better appreciate the snowy mountain scenery in winter and early spring. The first real tourist site I went to is this place, Shi Li Hualang, a canyon that stretches more than 10 miles along steep cliffs and oddly shaped peaks. I was told many of them resemble heroes in Tuja people's history. Smart, when do you need carved statues for heroes when nature has done the work? For more ambitious hikers, it can be pleasant to walk along the valley but be prepared to give yourself a few hours and bottles of water. You can choose to hike miles and miles for two hours to reach the top of Tian Shen, but I choose the modern way and save me at least another two hours. It will take just about five minutes and take your time and enjoy the view. Like most public transportation, the cable can involve long wait, crowds, especially when the tourist season is at its peak. But comparing to hours long hikes that take to get to the top, I prefer the cable ride, at least for now, to enjoy the scenery. Chinese are the experts to project imagination into nature, especially in Zhangjiajie. Every stone has an Im image that you're supposed to know. And uh, I'm not that talented, but every experienced guide will tell you all the stories. You can listen to it. This mountain gets his name from one of such stories. It's called the King of the Peak, Tianzi Mountain. Local legend said that an ancient Tujia chieftain who aspired to come Tianzi, the son of heaven, gathered his people and launched an uprising on this peak. Ever since then, it became a holy mountain for Tujia people. find hiking exciting. I don't know how long I've been hiking, around miles and miles. 
time has lost the sense already. It's only measured by the footstep, and it has been a long time. When the hike finally eased to a stroll, as if nature was kind enough to flatten the path, so I could catch my breath and better appreciate the spectacular. That's when I saw this village, and slipped right into a needle. I was told that a family tried to take refuge from the turbulent world a century ago, and settled themselves in this place, their very own euphoria. It's such an off-road place that it's still disconnected from motorways. To go there, you have to go there. I mean, by feet. Such remoteness that requires self-sufficiency grants the village a feel of self-contentment. People have been living in this small village generation by generation for over a hundred years. The lifestyle still keeps as simple as a hundred years ago, and. Cooking lunch, we take it as granted as we do. Usually, must take two hours to prepare. So I can expect some real authentic Tujia minority groups cooking. <coughs> it works. My dinner all depends on this. See how hard I can blow. I'm getting hungry though. The time I spend there made me start wondering if the tale of Euphoria, Tao Hua Yunji, was talking about this place. I had a really good and heavy sleep. Got to be the air. Zhang Jiajie is a diehard place. There's a well-known saying that before you come here, you so want to come and you can die. And after you've been here a couple of days, you're so exhausted you can die. And after my sleep, what I can tell you is every inch of my bones really aches. But Zhang Jiajie doesn't just give you the pain; they also give you a treat, and that's why I stayed in this hotel. After a few days hiking, staying in a hotel like this is almost a necessity than luxury. The thermal heat was discovered incidentally in late 70s here, and well utilized ever since. The natural hot springs.